Hey guys, and thank you so much for tuning in to my channel. My name is The Lady Designer, and today we are going to say goodbye to an old franchise mode series. Now, it wasn't like we never mentioned in a video that there wouldn't be any more episodes, but I did promise back in the days that before doing the last tour, I really wanted to finish the whole zoo with filling in all the gaps, connecting everything with each other, and make everything look nice and pretty. But yeah, unfortunately, I never did. <laughs> but I still do feel like I owe it to all the amazing creators of the blueprints in this zoo to do like this proper goodbye zoo tour. And to one last time, thank all these incredible creators for their awesome work and dedication with providing me with all these beautiful blueprints. So if you want to download any of these blueprints used in this zoo, head over to the description of this video where you can find the Desert Franchise Zoo collection list to download anything you like to use for your own zoo. Because I am sure they are very helpful for a lot of people that recently started building a desert zoo with the new arid animal packs. So yeah, eat your heart out because all these blueprints are absolutely fantastic and super useful. And talking about the Arid Animal Pack, in case you missed the Steam Summer Sale and are still missing out on any Planet Zoo packs, or maybe you're just looking for any other fun game to play with like The Sim, City Skylines, Farming Simulator, Jurassic World Evolution, or any other fun game, definitely go and check out the sponsor of our channel, Instant Gaming, because via their website, you can get all these amazing packs with a really great discount. And by buying via their website, you will get a great discount and you will also be supporting the channel. I will make sure to put a link to the website in the description of this video and in the pinned message of the comment section so you can easily find it. Now, without further talking, let's go and jump into our Desert Franchise Mode series one more time to say a proper goodbye. And at the end of this video, I will give one last shout out to all the amazing community members that provided me with these incredible desert themed blueprints to use for this awesome zoo. Uh, now, it's funny to mention actually that this zoo was started in June 2020. So that's like a little bit longer than half a year after launch of the game. So you can definitely tell that um, I think even I, even though I used a lot of the blueprints, that even I definitely improved with my building skills comparing to uh, 2020. So we have like this awesome building with shops, information stand and a drink, uh, drink shop. And right over here, I, I really was so impressed by this staff building. Oh goodness, we have a box right over here. Oh, I can't move it. Okay, well, it is what it is, I guess. But this was like such a cool way of creating like this backstage staff facility area. Love the planters here on the top as well. And also the awnings right over here. Everything just looks so nice. And it's just a perfect and easy building to put down. Uh, so yeah, definitely a must have. And there's like a little staircase right over here, another uh, staff building. I did not decorate the inside, apologies for that. <laughs> But absolutely fantastic work. So uh, definitely one of my most favorite blueprints of this zoo. But there are so many really good blueprints in here, by the way. On this side, we have a little restaurant building. Well, we didn't have restaurants back in the days, but obviously we could be, uh, we could create our own restaurants with the shops we have right over here. And then a nice seating area right over here with this beautiful awning as well looking absolutely fantastic and just super nice for a guest to be using. And I think there's also, yes, we have ATMs and a toilet block right over here. So definitely a multifunctional building, very useful for also a franchise mode series, obviously, because that is what we were doing. Now, this is obviously a sandbox map. So uh, yes, I cannot upload any franchise zoos to the Steam Workshop, but I can upload it as a sandbox zoo. So if you want to download the zoo yourself, want to finish it, add things upon it, make it your own, definitely go and uh, read the description of this video of how you can download this zoo to use it 
yourself if you want to. Man, I just love the viewing here. And the bacteria and camel habitat. It's really like an oasis with like this beautiful water section and these rock formations. So if you are not familiar with this zoo, also these type of rock formations, these are a lot of um, uh, copy and pasting. Uh, it's like a lot of copy and pasting in here, but a lot of these rock formations are also there for you to download. So it's going to make things a lot easier if you are going to play around with these blueprints in a desert zoo. They are super, super useful. Really do like this habitat still. And my goodness, the noise that they make. It's insane. There are so many camels in here. All right, let's continue because what do we have here? Oh, yes, we have another cute little toilet building. Love the planters here as well. It all looks super nice. We really wanted to go for a little bit of a... Um, modern look so that is why we have a lot of these uh beautiful white buildings that bring like this beautiful contrast with this desert biome so definitely amazing <gasps> please tell me we have a derpy bungo face in here but i didn't hear them so i doubt we have any babies in here is there one sleeping oh no Okay, so we have like shelter buildings are also in the collection list to download. Very easy to use as well. And definitely just a beautiful habitat. Also, these rock formations you see in the back are also all part of Blueprint. So uh, yeah, this is definitely a great example of how to uh, use Blueprints from the Steam Workshop and create a zoo with it that just looks super nice. We have a plant right over here. And we have staff buildings right over here. I think this, this staff building is being used a lot throughout the zoo because it's like super compact. It just looks good and it's super easy to use for any area that you need this, this staff building for. And then we have this little shop right over here, which is also super cute. Chief Beef and Gulpy looking super nice. And uh, with the wooden beams, it just gives that extra little uh, rough touch, I guess. Uh, that is a bungo habitat. So what do we have here? Niyalas, I think it is. I do remember, by the way. I'm not sure if it also was the Niyalas, but I think we had so many issues with these animals being super stressed and I just didn't want to add like a glass wall right over here. So that was super frustrating. So yeah, definitely keep that in mind. If you have a busy zoo, some animals are just too shy to build like these beautiful fences and stuff with on the edge of their habitat. You really need glass, which is such a pity. But yeah, also really nice Niala habitat right over here. I do really feel like I'm missing a lot of the details. Like we didn't have aquatic rocks back in the days and like the, the, the grass patches and then everything. So you can tell that all these habitats, in my opinion, feel a lot more barren. And I think this was also one of the first franchise mode series that we did. And we really paid attention to how many plants and stuff these animals wanted in their habitat instead oh, i really do like this by the way there's this rock formation in the middle and then like this this tunnel right over here this archway we use this archway a lot as well which you can also download from the steam workshop which looks super nice but uh, what was I saying? Yes, okay, so I think this was one of those series where we really paid attention to how much foliage we added into the habitat to make sure that these animals were super happy with the amount of foliage that was in the habitat. Also, this shelter building is really cool. Love it. I'm not gonna constantly say you can download it as well, but pretty much everything you see right now the awnings the fences everything is in that collection list so i'm gonna stop saying it because else it's going to be uh, super repetitive but yeah so that's why these habitats do not have that much foliage and i'm not really sure if uh, frontier later on also did love this one to cool down if later on frontier did change a little bit with the habitat requirements but i do know that at some point 
We either changed our way of building habitats or Frontier changed, changed the, the effect of these requirements. So even though I know I still got a lot of questions about that, I love this bridge as well. It looks so good. So even though you have a lot of foliage in your habitat, as long as the total welfare is good, it doesn't matter if there is way too much foliage and stuff in their habitat. So don't worry too much about that. I, I do get a lot of questions about that. Oh, what cute warthogs. Also really do like this, uh, this front here with all these, what they, these are shop awnings or something, right? Looks so good. Oh, the warthogs are just the cutest. And also these shelter buildings, one over here, one over there, a little backstage area for some privacy. And then this one, oh man, love this restaurant building so much. It's a round shaped restaurant with two shops and then these cool awnings right over here, these with, with cloths, Clo cloth, <laughs> can't really say that word. And then here we have a toilet building. And then here we go to the backstage, which also has a staff building right over here. I think this one is causing a little bit of errors in, in franchise mode, if I remember correctly, with the toilet building. I think there is like this negative impact. And then this is the same staff building that we saw at the beginning of the zoo. So yeah, you will see that one a lot more often in the zoo being copy pasted a lot. We have uh, Hiyana, Hiyana <laughs> Hyena habitat right over here. So these guests are all, this is not really the idea that I had in mind, <laughs> but these guests are all looking at the spotted hyena in here on oh, a little one. On oh, it's so adorable. So yeah, this is a sunken hyena habitat with the use of a lot of uh, rock formations. Beautiful bridge right over here really love this one how it's made with all the logs and the pillars and stuff and then the habitat continues right over here towards i think it's a cave viewing we have a little shop right over here a little water shop and here we have some toilets again the same building that we have at the entrance and then we have a cave viewing right over here as well but doesn't really look like these hyenas are really using this cave that often but maybe we should add some hay bannings here to make it work better well you could add some hay bannings there to make it work this one was also so fantastic what a great wavy how do we call it even like a, just just a, a shelter building or something well it's actually only a roof also these covers here for these vending machines are awesome uh, we have some signs. I actually, I think this one was made by me for my mailing zoo, which is also added in the uh, in the blueprint collection. And then we have this big African savanna habitat. What the hell is wrong here? Because we have so many ostriches walking around here. There's one right rhino. Should be a lot of zebras and giraffes in here as well. And what else do we have walking around here? Uh, the African buffalo, is it's like a huge habitat in here with a cool bridge and like all these formations. I think these are from my Inama Zoo. So these are also available in the Steam Workshop so you can use them. These are just more African wildlife patches or African wild bushes patches. I don't know how to call it. But yeah, tons of inspiration in here and tons of great work love all these rock formations here as well with all these planters so much fun to build this are we going to the left side or are we going to the right side we have more of these covers right wait actually there are these are just put down so i can copy paste them yes there are no <laughs> vending machines in here oh that's right we also have the feeding hyenas area which is quite funny so guests can grab some food here now i do not know if they would eat oranges and stuff, but this was basically all the food that we had in the game at that point. We actually should get like some some meat things because like well, this this should look like meat, I think. But we don't have any meat props. That would actually be so cool. And also maybe some some skeletons or something like that. That would be super nice. But yeah, definitely really nice habitat right over here. And then we go, let's go to the left side first. 
I had so many plans here to integrate these beautiful bridges. They are so freaking awesome. Like, I still can't over, can't get over how this is made. It just looks so fantastic. Like, really good. It's insane. Like, it really is. Absolutely beautiful. Oh, yes, then we have a Jaguar. Oh, this is uh, for the black Jaguar that was boxed in the entrance. Beautiful habitat. I actually... Was this habitat made by someone or was it made by me? I actually can't remember. Like, I, I don't think that we did do complete habitats. I think maybe only like shelter buildings and stuff, which we had like some really beautiful ones, which we got to in a bit. I, I guess I built this one myself, but it, I barely can remember. Like it's been three years ago or something like that. But it is really beautiful. I love the rock formation. The only downside I think I feel like from this, this, this desert biome is just the fact that I am not a huge fan of, of the, the terraforming colors and stuff. Like right now we do have a lot of green patches to, to make habitats a lot more lush and to basically cover the flooring so it's not like super obvious but I don't know I just would like to have a little bit more contrast and even the mulch color is pretty sandy so yeah I don't know I'm, I'm a general not a huge fan of these uh this 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 terraforming color and and the colors that come with this biome so as as much as I love how this zoo is looking I doubt if I ever will build in a desert biome again in the future. I'm not sure. Maybe, maybe I will. Maybe if we one day get like in Planet Coaster, we also had these. Uh, you you could basically pick your own terraforming colors from different biomes, and and that would definitely make a difference in my opinion. Um, yeah. So just go right over here. So we had the start of a South America animal, uh, South America animal, no South America area with, uh, like this, this dry moat right over here, little river going through the habitat. We have a little cave. Is there a cave? Yes. Oh yes. This was also a, a blueprint, which looks super nice. A little cave for the giant and eaters with a more South American style with all these beautiful tropical plants and stuff. Definitely looking very nice, but still I do feel like I'm, I'm missing out on all the tiny little rocks from the aquatic pack and stuff, but that is just me. I'm so sorry. Also the sign, really do love this sign cover. We have another staff building right over here. And then we have altars, isn't it? I think it is. So this was definitely made after we got the aquatic pack. <laughs> but look, also the fencing right over here. I love it still. I love the combination with the wood and the white. And then we have the giant otter habitat. We have an underwater viewing gallery on that side. And we have a beautiful shelter. Oh, hello. We are ready for a tour. We have a beautiful shelter building right over here. And then they have an entrance here into the underwater viewing gallery. Let's just walk to that specific area. Look, we can go through here. Also was not decorated completely just yet. And then we have this awesome underwater viewing gallery. Oh, look, we are so lucky seeing a giant otter doing its thing and deep diving in here. Absolutely love it. One of my most favorite things to do in Planet Zoo, to just see these animals swim. It, it has something super satisfying. I just really do like it. So, okay, we had the underwater viewing gallery. So now let's go to... Where shall we go? That staff. What do we have right over here? We can... Well, this is not an official viewing gallery, but this is the backside. What is this? A Cayman habitat. Oh my goodness. Is this really a Cayman habitat? I think it is because I actually could. Well, actually, we did make a Cayman habitat in the safari boat ride as well, didn't we? 
or wasn't that an official one? I don't know anymore. Gosh, it's been so long since we've been playing this 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 game in general. But yeah, beautiful shelter building, and I think these are two, yes, yeah, separated habitats. And we have dwarf caimans on both sides. Am I correct? Yes, I am correct. So another shelter building right over here, which you can also look into from here a little bit, which I do really like. And then a beautiful water area for these guys. Definitely also made when the aquatic pack launched. That end, we need to return to where we came from. Oh, and look at that gorgeous building. Oh my goodness. If I'm correct, now I'm, I don't want to say anything wrong, so I'm not going to name. <laughs> I'll do proper naming shout out at the end of this video, but I don't want to say like, oh, I think this is made by that person and then it's wrong, you know? So not going to try that. But this is definitely a gorgeous architecture, gorgeous building. Absolutely love it how this is all themed. We have a toilet building right over here. All the paths are hidden obviously underneath the plaster pieces so you have some shops right over here and then if you walk around here we have some more shops we have gift shops and then we have this this african elephant big shelter i should have paid more attention to everything that uh, is clipping through i think that's really my bad and not the person that created it but man i just really love this like you, this is the edge for the guests to look into. I mean, isn't it just fantastic how this is looking and how you are looking into the habitat? Oh man, it is just so cool. So an educational sign. There are even waterfalls integrated in here. It's just so gorgeous. And then you have another viewing gallery here with these beautiful flowers. Like, man, this is just so freaking inspiring. and such a fantastic way of creating this huge shelter building and you see the difference what it makes when you have like these plaster pieces on the floor instead of like playing around with the pathing system yourself so it wasn't just a matter of trying to connect all these paths underneath here but it doesn't have to be super neatly like as long as the most important viewings are reachable and stuff so i think that is the most important thing but man i really love this building so so much and then you have like this beautiful oh actually i never built water in here oh you barely notice it but there should be glass walls around here and then water i added into it i never actually realized it until now but yeah, a oh, little educational area here. Absolutely amazing. Definitely an incredible building to use for your own zoo if you want to go for a little bit more desert and, and modern theme. And then right over here, we go to the outside. Again, an amazing viewing gallery here for the African elephant. Looking into this huge habitat, which has like a lot of different viewing areas from the side. So we have one right over here as well. This was definitely also inspired. I, I think the design was a little bit inspired of, of my Malin Zoo habitat, which was in its turn inspired by a real life zoo, which I can't remember. Um, we have a lemur island. I think this whole island was made by someone. So we did... Uh, or at least like the the climbing frames yes this middle section so you can download that uh, for your own zoo as well uh, separately and yeah create like this this really cool lemur island from it man it's so amazing I did not turn off climbing as you can tell <laughs> it's just looking so good and I remember there is also yes this little little uh, shelter building in here with even a beam right over here for them to climb up right here in the middle i mean this is such a cool climbing uh, climbing frame mountain rocks formation i don't know how to call it but absolutely fantastic work and then we can walk through here we have a different viewing gallery a little bit more I wanted to say modern, but it, they are all modern 
but just a completely different style and it just looks super good as well. And then you can look into this habitat. I think what 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 dun, 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 run. We have disable antelope together with the African elephant in here. So a nice mud pool. Like if I now would put down a mud pool, I would not put it down like this. I would integrate it with a lot of rocks around it to make it blend in a little bit more. But yeah, that that's the difference between then and now. Look at this incredible staff building, you guys. Love the architecture of this one as well. The color scheme with the black and white and brown. It looks incredible from the other side. Really beautiful staff building. So then if we continue right over here, we should be able to get to this underwater viewing gallery from for the elephants. Oh, well, maybe that's on the other side because this is the West African lion habitat also sunken into the ground. So we have like this really big water body on that side, really trying to resemble more of this, this African uh, biome, African exhibit. Oh, look, you have them all right over here in this shelter building. So this is all the West African lion habitat. It's huge. I think back in the days, I, yeah, definitely during this time, I did build a lot of huge habitats. And later on, I really decided to focus more on smaller habitats. So, or like as small as possible. That is definitely also something I learned along the way, but it's so hard when you're starting out, you're always building way too big habitats. Oh man, I just love these guys so much. It's so adorable. All right, so yeah, big water section. <laughs> and then we go, yes, okay, this is the underwater viewing gallery with the African elephants. Also, really cool building or structure. Absolutely love this one. It looks so extremely good. Really beautiful. And then we have this really long underwater viewing gallery. But unfortunately, no elephants swimming. We never got deep diving animations, unfortunately, of the elephants. Like, I don't know, or like at least them playing more into the water because that is just so freaking amazing and so much fun but unfortunately nope i think this is the last habitat that we build and this was right after the africa pack dropped i think you can tell that we are using aquatic rocks in here and the difference of this habitat compared to many of these other more empty habitats and uh Definitely a lot of fun to build. This also made me realize that, uh, yeah, you need to pay attention to the traversable or the, the size of the habitat from both the Ironfark and the Meerkats. So I'm not entirely sure, but I feel like this, this habitat felt too big for me, but I had to do it. Oh, yes. Also this little peek through with all these aquatic rocks. Uh, this is what... I think the meerkats can use, but not the aardvark, unfortunately. I actually don't see any meerkats, or am I... Oh, yes, okay, there is a meerkat, so they are in here. But really cool. I'm not entirely sure if there was any blueprint here. It could definitely be that this rock formation was with the blueprint. I, I don't know if I built this myself, but I do know... I was struggling a little bit to make it work, so they were actually able to go through it or something. But a really cool area here, and I think, yes, we also have a viewing gallery here into the cave, looking super nice. But yeah, definitely with these aquatic rocks, I don't know, you tell me if you guys agree, but aquatic rocks definitely make such a difference for your habitats. And then we have another staff building right over there. And then we went around this gorgeous building. Now, obviously, we should not forget to mention this beautiful uh, viewing gallery right over here. Absolutely fantastic. I think I duplicated it a few times to make it this long, if I am correct. I think so. Also, these guys are amazing and a must-have 
for many zoos because they look so incredible. Like it's such a pity that I didn't decorate everything here, but I, I'm sure that this would look even more fantastic when it is filled up. Look at all these beams right over here. They are so freaking good. And I love the lights in here as well. Really beautiful area here and a nice viewing inside. Oh, yes, we had an alpine note you robbed. The first one ever. And then the viewing in here in general looks super nice. Also, this building should say it right. I made both of them, didn't I? I think I did. Uh, but I'm unsure which one because one I did download from Mayland Zoo, and I think that was this one, where you can walk through some beautiful glass uh, roof right over here, bringing a lovely shade into the habitat, and it just works super well. And I think later on I had to add another building, but I'm not entirely sure. I, th I think I made this one myself as well. <laughs> oh, I can't remember. Correct me if I'm wrong, you guys. But man, yeah, definitely really cool. Also, to see it from here, we will walk back to that. I think it was a tortoise habitat. The view from here as well looks super nice. And inspired of Rotterdam Zoo, which they have kind of like a, a, a giraffe house where you can walk through like this as well. Obviously, it looks completely different, but the idea is definitely from that habitat. And this is the same sign that I just mentioned and right over here, we have a tortoise habitat. Super cute. Love these animals. Right, Kane? They're so cute. Oh, the tortoise is always... I, I find it a pity that the tortoise is not like a super popular animal, unfortunately, in the game. They are just so cute and you can make such lovely habitats for these guys. And using this archway again, of course, to decorate it a little bit. What do we have on this side right over here there is a viewing gallery oh this is a now monitor oh look how lucky we are man did it take long for frontier to add deep diving for these animals but this was definitely made when they could not deep dive are they able to deep dive in here i think it's not deep enough maybe slightly but I don't see any of them deep dive. But also an animal that is like not super popular. But man, I love these guys so much. I also really like the waterfalls right over here. Integrated with this underwater viewing gallery building. It looks so good. Together with all this. Oh, wait. Uh, do not cross, please. Oh, yes. Okay. I thought maybe there is a name on uh, right over here. But there's no name sign. Uh, this is, oh, we went here, but we did not see this gorgeous building. I just had to put it down, this Starbucks building. I mean, just look at this. The planters, the rock work in here on the side. This is amazing. One of the most details, detailed restaurants that I saw back in the days. It's, it's so impressive still looks so gorgeous look at this i mean and you have some toilet buildings in the in the back right over here absolutely amazing building can't get over it still and it's also in the collection list oh you should not say that anymore but i did it again <laughs> right over here we have a viewing the brawliest viewpoint um, now monitor upper gallery with these really cool canopies giving some shade. That was definitely uh, something that was important for this franchise mode series to create blueprints with also a lot of shade elements to make sure that our gas were able to cool down and stuff because it's such a warm and hot climate and, and, and map. So the gas would need some shade. And, of course, uh, a lot of drinks and stuff. So that's why you also see a lot of uh, drink shops around here. Um, that is... Where is that going? To the giraffe habitat. We should go here still. But first, let's go to this cheetah habitat. 
with a lot of these rock formations as well and these these shady areas i'm really missing out on the aquatic pack rock still this rock formation is really cool by the way love that very nice big and open area for the cheetah to enjoy obviously and to also drink from the water making also a natural boundary here definitely is working super well now we have this amazing tropical house which is looking so fantastic really amazing architecture we have some waterfall features on the outside water was also definitely a thing like if you are close to like these water bodies and water v of x's that will give you the feeling that you would be uh, cooling down as well a little bit or at least in real life i don't know if it actually works in planet zoo <laughs> But that was at least the idea of it. Some really cool integrated exhibits right over here. Awesome way with these these round uh, of wall pieces. Absolutely awesome. Really love the architecture. Look at all these these planters and stuff on top of it, and these la lights or lanterns. Oh my goodness! Absolutely such an amazing building. Okay, let's go here because we have the African wild dog habitat if we continue through this giraffe building. So now we go up right over here and then we have the African wild dog. Also, oh yes, I really do love this, this rock formation including like this little shady thing which they absolutely love to use. A nice water body as well for them to to cool down in this this warm climate just look at this how adorable oh it's so cute hi i'm not sure if you're also going to lay down no you're going to jump off right over here i think they also have a cave a little cave here right before the entrance or or entrance no the staff gate to use for a keeper so big viewing gallery right over here, making sure that, oh yes, we have enrichment items, making sure that the guests will not complain about the view of the African wild dogs in the zoo. Uh, what do we have here? We have a round viewing gallery. Is this to the hippo? Yes, this is the hippo habitat. I think this, was this the only building that I built? I actually am not sure. Something reminds me that I did build that building and added it to the blueprints as well. I didn't make many buildings. I just added things upon it and put things together. Oh, look at this view. Oh, they're all laying down in the shade right over here. That makes sense. Nice and close to the gas. They absolutely love that. There's not another viewing gallery here, is there? No, we have. What is this? A staff building as well beautiful architecture as well looking super nice we have another staff building right over here i guess i try to make like a more central area right over here being pretty much in the middle of our zoo we have another one of those um oh yes on the other side you can also look into the african savanna with this beautiful waterfall that you can also download oh i did it did say it again this is a hyena habitat so we can return from here go back a little bit so we can see the hippo viewing gallery this is the wild dog so let's just go to the right side and go down because we have an underwater viewing gallery right over here but obviously there are no hippos right now using it which is a pity so the underwater viewing gallery is a little bit yes less useful at this point when they're not in the water but we can also go up right over here and enjoy the lovely view. Oh, look, we are lucky. They're already going into the water to cool down a little bit. I love the sounds that they make. It's it's really like they're laughing. It's so hilarious. Oh, 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 Whoa. go down. Yes, that's exactly what we wanted. See how cool it is? Yeah, I just love it. Animals and underwater viewing galleries. It's just the best there is. Okay, let's see. 
We have another staff building right over here, which also looks really nice. Love how this one is set up. Big area right over here. Also for your staff to relax. Obviously, these staff buildings are not made with the conservation pack because we did not have the conservation back in the days. <gasps> this one. Oh my goodness. This was definitely one of my most favorites as well. Oh, wow. This was so beautiful. Like just imagine walking through here and cooling down because of you you just feeling the little tiny drops from the waterfall being able to to ease to go to the toilet to to just sit down here on the edge and enjoy this this beautiful walk through i i really like this 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 blueprint so much it's so gorgeous so we walk to the Indian Rhino Habitat with another cool shelter thing right over here, which you can use for the middle of their habitat. Not a super exciting habitat right over here. I uh, I can definitely tell <laughs> we're seeing a lot of details in there. Oh, wait, did we miss out on that? Wait. Yes, we did. Okay, we need to go back. Wait, 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 wait. No, this is going back to the entrance. So it is good to quickly go and check out this particular area before we move on to Australia. What is this? Oh, the clouded leopards. Also with a nice waterfall right over here. Is that actually usable? No, that's just a blueprint. We have a nice climbing frame right over here. And just in general, a lot of beautiful rock formations. I think this this whole rock formation right over here was also part of one blueprint that we integrated in this habitat, which is so amazing. Looking so nice. A little cave right over here for them to chill and relax in and to sleep. And then, oh my goodness, wasn't this the proboscis monkey? My gosh. Look at this building, you guys. Isn't that awesome? Oh, I can't get over this building as well. It's so freaking beautiful. These, these water bodies in the outside. Water bodies right over here. It's so freaking amazing how this building is made. I, I really wonder how long this took the creator to create because i think with all these plaster pieces it's so uh, so much work and then you have like this beautiful glass wall with all these shops here a plant around this side with a lot of these tiny rocks still didn't have the aquatic rocks maybe south america pack no yes the south america pack was before the aquatic pack wasn't it because Aquatic Pack, I remember, was somewhere in December. So it was not the first year, so it was the second year. So it could be South America Pack was before that. Proboscis Monkey indoor area with some awesome climbing frames and, and, and tires hanging from the ceiling for them to play with. And then we go right over here, another beautiful planters on the side as well. And you have a toilet building and you can go up right over here for a viewing from the top. Fantastic building. Can't say anything else. It looks so freaking gorgeous. It was a little bit of a pain, I remember, putting it down and especially on the other side with like a lot of the escape, uh, escaping animals. We can go all the way around here. Lady, I'm so proud of you that you're running all the way to here. Must be exhausted when she arrives at this, this other area. Oh, yeah. So we have some cool climbing frames right over here. But I remember, I think it was somewhere over here. And I, I think we did fix it at some point. But they were constantly escaping. It was so frustrating. Look at this cool climbing frame. Oh, it looks so good. A lot of options for them to climb around, use all these beams, jump from one side to the other side. Really, really cool area. More tropical and Asian area here. Oh, there are more animals box, but I'm not going to pay attention to that. All right, so if we just go back, I mean, oh, look at this building. 
outfit is incredible. Okay, go back right over here because, okay, we went through this awesome section. And then we have this beautiful restaurant, which also looks super nice, like less white, but still feels uh, a lot like very modern with the shape of the roof and stuff. Looks so, so good. On the inside, we have some seating areas and then we have some shops on the inside here for the guests to order their drinks to cool down a little bit. And then we go to, what do we have here? The, um, uh, I always forget, I saw what a crocodile it is. Oh yes, also really do love this shady, shady building, shady awning thing. Man, it looks so good. So here we have the saltwater crocodile habitat, the big water body as well with a nice road or path going through here and the, the saltwater crocodile can also go underneath there. So we will walk there in just a little bit. What do we have here? Yes, we have a little uh, backstage building here. Oh yes, this is right. This is Australia and we have a staff building or, or toilet building right over here. Uh, okay, so how can we best walk there? I don't know. I don't want to miss out on any any parts, but as always, I probably will. <laughs> Doing my best here. This is also a little uh, beachy area for the saltwater crocodiles. Also love these awnings right over here or shady, shady things. And then to the left, yeah, there are just a lot of connections in general, I think with the other areas of this zoo. You can also look into the habitat from here. Just looking super nice. Nice water area for the saltwater crocodiles. So this is an end habitat probably for the cassowary. Am I correct? Yes, that is a cassowary. And because the cassowary is pretty shy, I did make sure to make this a little bit more lush with more trees and more foliage just to give them ooh, a little bit more privacy to not give the feeling that guests would look into their habitat and they feel like oh where do i go where do i go all these humans looking at me <laughs> what do we have here uh oh the back side of like a food truck or something before we had food trucks as well look at this one i think we used this one or something similar had a lot of areas and it looks so freaking good really love it especially for this australian area it just works super well oh yes and of course we got an exhibit animal and so someone built this exhibit corner with the uh what is it again the blue tongue lizard yes eastern blue tongue lizard exhibit I don't think I've ever seen people walking here. Nonetheless, just look at this. I mean, they are missing out on this incredibly designed exhibit. But yeah, it's it's the loss of the guests, I guess. We did show it at least. <laughs> oh yes, okay, you can also look into the cassowary shelter. Just a little peek right over here. And then you have this awesome building. Now it was quite hard to integrate this one, but it just looks so good. So I really just had to use it. It has all these connections right over here. And of course, providing shade for the guests. Just working super well. Really nice habitat here as well. Still missing out on a lot of the aquatic rocks, but okay, it is what it is. Australia pack came before the aquatic pack. <laughs> okay, so now we go through Australia. Actually, I'm surprised how nicely everything is, is put together and it's pretty nicely connected. Is this going to the koala habitat? Yes, I think so if I'm correct, all the way to have some nice covers right over here for vending machines, a walk through koala habitat with a beautiful sign here. Love it. And then we have a really cool. Uh, oh, yes, this is the same one that we used for the African wild dog. But you have a really cool like I think it's called a playground 
four koalas or something like that. I mean, look at this. It is so freaking good. And then we have another shady area right over here. And more shade right over here. I don't really see... Oh! Oh my goodness, you guys! I see actual koalas in a tree! Why are you all in the same tree, though? What? My goodness, it has been such a long time since I've actually seen koalas using it. Did they, did they, like, fix it with the latest update or something? Oh my gosh. And of course, a little water body for them to drink some water. And then we go out right over here with a long, nice walk as well. It just really wants to play around a little bit with different height elevations in here. Going all the way to here. And then we have these really cool uh, shade providers. I just I just keep forgetting how they, they are called. They have an official name for it, I think. So we have a dingo cave. Also really love this rock formation here. So you can go to the left side or to the right side. Walking through there a little bit more adventurous, if you can call it that way. Sunken habitat for the dingoes. And then over here, there should be like this little pool, which I was waiting for ages for to see the animation. And I, I doubt that I ever saw it. It's not really uh, that good in my memories anymore. Oh, yes. And we have another of these, these trucks right over here, but then, then recolored and just added a different shop inside of it and stuff. Man, I love this truck. It is so beautiful. So we can walk all the way around here. Actually, I don't see any dingoes. And then go back here, this beautiful sign, through the rock formations again. And then here we have a beautiful waterfall as well, with some kangaroos, the rat kangaroo. More of these shady, uh, shady things. And, oh wait, was this? No, this is a different food truck but added another one because all these people are thirsty so they need something to drink all these animals need something to drink little river body inside of their habitat and then oh yes that's right love this this as well so cute um and this side we also have a food truck with more Rings. This was the koala. Yes, this was to the koala area. So, um, wait, that means that we have seen the whole zoo. Am I correct? Oh, that's right. This was, where is this going to? A, a staff area? Oh, just a staff path. But I remember this uh, tunnel cover. Wait, where was it again? Oh, here it is. This tunnel cover, isn't that awesome? So to hide away your ugly surroundings when you build a tunnel, you can use this one, which is not perfectly laid out with me because the path could definitely improve a little bit in the edges, but this is cool, a tunnel cover. I mean, ah, uh, yeah, it's, it's in the small little details. I just love it. So let's just have one more look from the top because it don't want to miss out on anything, but I think we did see everything around here. So yeah, bringing us at the end of this zoo tour. And as I said, you can download this zoo as well if you want to finish it or, or make it your own. And you can obviously also download all these incredible blueprints. And as promised, I will do a proper shout out to all the creators that have been providing these amazing blueprints for the Desert Zoo Blueprint Collection. So that will be Adam Up. Ankatis, Ando, Anikmandra, Anika Naila, Arcial, Bobson, Chucky One, Climbable Chunky, Chrissy HDZ, Dante Vento, Dino Titan, 13, Domo, EBO, Elitist Shadow, Fame Thrower, Felix, Flying Leopard 5, Formtastic, Franz, Frisbeat, Frog Princess, Grace Ran, Helio Smith, Ida, Irish X Lily, Jedi Thousand, 
Kane, Kazra, Lau, Marty, Plard, Matthijs, Mimazing, Nathan, Nathan Neck, Nick, Noah, Okapi Lover, Raptor Online One, Rupstar, Ria PX, Right Side of Mike, Sunny3, Shahar Prat, Susa Cabra, Soros Gaming, Summer of Mouse, Tyrants, Zila Storm 31 and Zuzia I Spolka. Thank you all so so much again for sharing these amazing blueprints with us. They were absolutely fantastic and I'm sure that many people are going to enjoy them a lot still in all their desert zoos or any other zoos that you like to use them for. Please leave something nice for all these creators out there in the comments down below. And if you guys are watching yourself of all the creators, do let me know. I'm curious to hear who of you is still watching after such a long time. I mean, 2001 is quite a long time ago. So let me know in the comments down below. And yeah, let me know in general what was your most favorite habitat or blueprint of this desert franchise mode zoo. Thank you all so much for watching. Leave a like at the video if you guys enjoyed and subscribe of course if you haven't already and yeah i just really do hope to see you guys on the next one thank you guys so much for watching bye guys